Come with me if you want to eat. Oh, hello there. And welcome to the kitchen. So today I'm going to do a spicy avocado wrap. See? So I've got, I've got a soft tortilla. I've got a chili pepper. Of course, an avocado. Arugula. And some sprouts. So... I like avocados. Everybody likes avocados. What is the deal with avocados and toast? I tried that once, and you know what it tasted like? Avocados on toast. I don't know, maybe it's a prestige thing. Uh, you know, who can say? Maybe it's a yuppie thing. You know, do, does anybody use the term yuppie anymore? I wonder, or is it, or the outsource now? What would that be? Young, urban, pro, young, outsourced, professional, of the yupsies, ah, yaspies, young or uh, whatever. Anyway, so if they're outsourced, maybe they would, I'm assuming they would be in India. I don't know if they would do avocados and toast, but maybe, maybe chana masala on toast. Hey, you know what? That sounds like a good idea. I gotta write that down. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to, I'm going to take some mayonnaise and spread that on my, my tortilla. Tortillas. Okay, put that over there. Get some arugula. Oh, and there's one more thing I forgot. Can't forget cucumbers. Yes, yes, yes. Silly me. Get something. I don't know why that is. I guess I should call myself the absent minded chef. Alright, so we have our chili. I'm going to like split that in half there and take out the seeds. We don't need those right now. Actually, the seeds make it even hotter. If you're one of these people who has to have it like, 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 um, burn your ass all hot, they go for it, right? Really, it's just there for the flavor, in my opinion. chili put that in there excellent okay so now the peste de resistance I take our avocado cut it in half now avocados when they're ripe they should be nice and dark like this you know I often used to get the green ones and I would sit around and wait for them to ripen and they wouldn't and they would be hard as a rock Speaking of rocks, this is a really large pit, Bradley. Okay. Uh-oh. Not supposed to do that, apparently. That's a no-no. It's a no-no in Chef and Chef Land. However. Ooh. <coughs> I got pepper residue on my finger. Ooh. Anyway. Wow. How many Schofields was that, I wonder? Ever get that 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 uh, joke sauce people give you? It's like, it's one million Schofields or something like that. <laughs> so there's enough here for another one. So right now I'm just gonna make this one. Put in, put in our cucumbers. Da -da -da. And a bit of this. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're gonna take this Wrap it from the bottom so that it, it, it doesn't fall out. Give it a big twist. And there you have it. Spicy avocado. Not bad, eh? Not bad at all. Let's taste it. Mmm. Mmm. Just the right amount of, hit, of heat. Just a little bit. A tiny, teeny, weeny little chili. If you don't have that, you can use maybe powdered chili or powdered cayenne to sprinkle it on. It's all good. Mmm. 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 Wow. Mmm. So, that's the spicy avocado wrap. That's a wrap. 
Oh, hello there. So, ever see those those the commercials on TV for new drugs? You know, like uh, uh, like Ozempic or something. And I always think, look, they always have like six or seven letters. Sometimes they have eight. But I'm thinking, you know, have they just grabbed them from a Scrabble bag? So that's what I'm gonna do. Right? I'm gonna grab some from the bag here. Let's see what I got? Seven seven letters. Let's see what I got here? An a. Oh, look at Z. This should be fun. An M. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? Ah. Wizamig. That sounds like it could be a drug. Wizamig. There you go, Wizamig. Not the best one, but you know you get the idea, right? Not bad for a first try. So what would Wizamig? Wizamig. Or maybe you could do Wiz. Wiz. Wiz Gammy or. Gives whammy. There, that's you. Gives whammy. There you go. Gives whammy. All right. So, gives whammy. What's it good for? I don't know. They never tell you. They tell you to ask your doctor. Gives whammy. If you're if you're pregnant or planning on becoming pregnant, or don't you don't use with gives whammy if you're sexually active and tend to be sexually active, or if you're just masturbating, or if you happen to breathe and other things. Well. <laughs> so, side effects include include um, burning sensations, tumorous ulcers, headaches, involuntary movements, nausea, vomiting, upset stomach, diarrhea. Ask your doctor if Kizwami is right for you. Oh, hello there! Welcome back. Today I'm going to do a breakfast root wrap. That's with eggs and some root vegetables. I've got a uh, a golden beet. Not the same as the red beet. The red beets are a bit messy. I like them. I like these a lot better. And half a carrot. I'm gonna grind them all down in this machine here, and we'll see what happens. One moment. Okay, I have my golden beet. I peeled it off camera because you don't need to see all that. Okay. I'm gonna put them in this this machine. This is one of those machines I bought. You know, it's like a <laughs> the handy little grinding machine. You press it down here to make it. A suction to the to the surface yeah it does a fairly good job I'll stick it in here we'll see what happens but wait there's more order now not right now but right now and you'll get something else we'll send you something else if you got it if you, if you want it we got it if you need it we got it if you don't want it we got it we got it all send it right now send send three payments of uh, of 99.99 this could be yours and something else we're going to throw in a handy handy uh, sharp item we're gonna hand a package to put the sharp item in it's awesome it's fantastic you can't resist this offer it's beautiful okay where was I oh yes <laughs> then we're gonna see how this works it does work except that it does leave a bit of the uh, a bit of knife work but that's a good job obviously. but wait there's more Order now, right now. We got things you need, you want, you want, you want them all. We got them all. Come on down to handy, handy, dandy, handy, dandy, dandy, this and that. We got Vince the Shamwell guy. This thing doesn't come out. Well, you know, what can I say? I did buy a Vitamix once. That works nicely. Yeah, I mean, it does work. It's just, you know, it's the learning curve. You know, I've had it for several years. Okay, so you get the idea, right? Okay, good. I've done it. See, I mixed it all up. I had to cut a bit of it with the knife. There it is. So, also I'm going to add to this some red onion. We're gonna slice it really thin here if we can. That should be enough of that. Chop it really fine. Side and some garlic. I'm going to use two red chili peppers. 
You can use one if you don't like it too hot, but I happen to, and this time I'm also going to add, add, leave the seeds in. I'm going to slice it down the middle. I'm going to put a little chopper in here. Okay, so I'll put that over there, that over there. Got my onions, my garlic, and my chilies. And I've got two eggs with some milk and a bit of uh, powdered coriander. All right, let's begin. Okay, the pan is hot. I'm gonna add some oil. Let that heat up. Onions, and the garlic, and the chilies. Let's get her done. Sooner, but oh, once again, I forgot. I get nervous. Whole cumin seeds, but should have gone in first. Do as I say, not as I do. A bit more coriander. All right. Okay, so with the magic of editing, okay, this has been cooking away for a few minutes. I'm going to toss it a few times. Actually, it smells really, really good. I like to eat that all by itself. I'm going to throw in the eggs. Scrambled and mix this all together. A trick you've seen me do before, I'm sure. But it is a breakfast wrap. Okay, next part. Here we go. I'm going to put a bit of yogurt on the bottom. Not necessary, but I like it. It's a, it's a cooling agent that. that, that Complements the, the heat, in my opinion. All right. Mm. So I put a bit of yogurt on the on the tortilla. It's kind of a cooling agent. It, it works in contrast with the heat. And the leftover, I put into the bowl and we're going to try it. But first of all, if you like, you can always just add some sprouts. There we go. So I'm going to wrap that up. And we're going to try this. Good all by itself. It's a little hot for some people. Like I say, one one chili pepper ought to do it. But I like it a little spicy, so I added two. Wow. Mm. That came out very well. 
So if you like that, let me know down below, okay? And that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed it. See you soon.